I'm gonna uh, do a run through on my 3607. It's for sale, but at the same time, I just thought I'd do a walk through um, uh, for informational purposes. So this is the Cardi Carver 3607. It is a uh, 1989. I don't think they changed the model a whole lot from like 85 to 90 maybe. Um, but uh, just a gorgeous aft cabin, so laid out so well. Um, you know, windless up here for, for that. Good sturdy lights. Everything Carver does is just uh, very strong and sturdy. I've had the boat about four years. I took it from Mississippi Mile Marker 503 to Nashville, so that's about 750 miles round trip, and took it there and back. Um, so, you know, you got your port side mirrors, or windows, those are for the front bedroom. Uh, there's a head right about here. Actually, this might be a head bathroom. We'll look when we're down there. Uh, and then the front. Um, uh, it has an eight, or a generator, which I'm running. And if you've ever had a generator, you wanna make sure the water flows like that. I had to replace an impeller pump, and now she runs beautifully. Um, uh, dual gas tanks, fills on both sides, wastewater on only one side. Uh, I think she comes in at about 15 and a half foot, uh, but of course taller when you got the, the VHF radio on. On the back, it is an aft cabin, and what that means is there's a bedroom behind that, those steps. Uh, what that allows a, a, a boat is a beautiful, beautiful master uh, bedroom. So we'll end up seeing that. Um, she's been the hat trick since I bought it. Um, never rechristened her. Uh, so things that I enjoyed about this boat is, you know, good spacious living area out here. Um, multiple chairs uh, a lot of storage on the 3607 so when you come up in the top here the helm uh, gives great visibility a lot of airflow I've I like the windows off when I'm driving but you can zip them up and still see and have that airflow um, shut off if it's a cold breeze the 3607 for me uh, one of the big deals on in, in the model I own it has two helms so we'll see the lower helm too you know if weather gets bad enough and you don't want to be freezing out there I will say this seat is probably the most enjoyable seat on the boat um, it tucks behind the windows so the breeze basically kind of gets above you if you want it to you can lay down up here it's awesome tons of storage up in the front my carpets need to be replaced. I do think a lot of people are going back to no carpet, but I'm leaving them on there in case somebody wants to use them to cut out for new carpet. Adequate walkways on both sides. Uh, plenty of room um, to go up and down both sides to the front. The front, uh, oh, there's your two 30 amp circuits. One 30 amp feeds the AC units, which there's three of them, and the other feeds the house batteries, or the house AC, which also back charge the batteries with an inverter. Uh, lots of nice cushion space up here. Plenty of, I mean, you can chair it up here as well. Um, room for a couple chairs up here, which is nice. And you can, you know, pull off your uh, Titanic top of the world right from there. Um, good visibility comes with the sunshades, which are super helpful. If you're going to be driving the boat mainly from the top, we leave them on. It just keeps it that much cooler in the lower area. Now, of course, if it is cool, take them off and let the sun heat things up. Uh, this door is, uh, I think some of the models didn't have this, but this does have the, uh, pop forward, um, hinge system so you can get it out of your way probably a good idea I've 
myself hit it a couple times. I watched my brother hit it about six times. So uh, coming down here, you do got four steps into an aft. Uh, leads you into the main salon area. Carver done a wonderful job with their furniture. In fact, this is original. Super, super nice stuff. Um, they know that sometimes drinking and boating go together, so they put a bar uh, in there. Honestly, we don't use it a whole lot. When we did our big trip, I stored big bottles of water in there uh, just for easy access for coffee and drinking. Um, good power outlet here. Uh, Carver does typically the split. So you got your 12 volt up here. You got your 110 down here. I'm running the generator right now. I have the main on for outlets. And if I wanted to use the airs, I would do that. Um, very handy. This boat uh, had an upgraded stereo system. Works just fine. CD player, but not sure if we're finding those anymore. Great Kohler generator. Good, good readouts right here. Start and stop from here. Little entertainment center. Uh, that might be a bigger deal for some people. I put a smart TV in there so I can watch radar or yeah, weather radar. I can also sync my display unit up on top wirelessly to it, which is pretty cool. So I can see uh, the the chart across that all for about a hundred bucks, uh, or not even that. Microsoft adapter is like sixty or eighty bucks. Um, the big helm is great. Um, uh, good visibility. Of course, I got the the shades on. Um, I love the independent forward and reverse, and then throttle. I'm learning with my new Carver that's one single joystick. Yeah, you desperately miss that. I mean, docking situations, you just stay over here. Um, really, a couple more steps to give you a separate area for uh, dining or, or set separate space for working. I, I work from the boat a lot, and this is right where I would work. I got power outlet right there. Um, kitchen nice it's separate um uh good double sinks this thing's just cool great design i mean you got a cutting board built in but you also in this position have an extra shelf really smart um full oven uh don't use it a whole lot might even have a pan in there <laughs> yep uh this is the original carver freezer and fridge it's still working which is amazing Good job, because I swear I, I buy a new fridge at my house every six or seven years. Good cabinetry in the boat. Uh, tons of drawers. Back here, a huge door with a drawer. Um, most people say you're not gonna find more space than on a Carver 3607. So you, you talk about a larger, longer boat, but for space utilization, it's it's hard to beat. I mean, there's just cabinets everywhere, and they're not like little ones, you know. They're, they're good and full size. This is just a cool feature, and again, showing out the, the craftsmanship of a carver. Um, this is a liftable table. So in the days that you had to chart out your destination, you'd keep your chart books there. I still have navigation books because they're just fun to look at. Um, just a great sturdy design table's got a great design for for rough seas not losing anything and again that that nice nice soft uh, uh material i want to call it leather but i can't say it is i don't know what it is it's just really soft um in here you have a bathroom uh with its own sink this would be the day head um and when, if you're not familiar with that word, that just means during the day when you gotta go to the bathroom or your, your guests have to go to the bathroom, they would come in here. Uh, the cool thing with the 3607 is it pulls uh, the water that you're riding on top of, which I'm on the Mississippi River, it'll, it'll pull that in to dump the heads. So you're not wasting your fresh water to, to clean out your bathroom. I'm sure you could circumvent that if for some reason the water you're around you don't want to go in there, but I've not had a problem with that. Um, this is the the, the guest uh, birthing space. I will admit, I thought for sure there'd be some cushion right here you could put in. There is not. 
so it, it's met for basically head to head or something you know but they're very long two people can sleep in this very comfortably uh, there is the one window so yeah the other window was in the head area which is blocked by a shade uh, but those open and give good uh, fresh air this opens and would give nice fresh air that opens for nice fresh air uh, again back to the big cabinetry space I use this to offset that drop in the table uh, so my wrist didn't hang over it while I was working on the computer I think that was about 40 cents worth of material um, anytime you're thinking about a boat you're also thinking about what if water is inside the boat? So uh, there's a number of places that you keep ahead of that. This is a, they had a really sophisticated shower uh, draining system probably to keep stench from back. They got a holding gate in there. Um, and there, um, so you'll, anytime you see a lot of water in there, and you know that you need to get your pumps going. Um, it has the same thing here. water in there uh, that is showing its age probably should maintain that before the next big trip get that replaced um, I love this floor it's just cool and you know I don't slow down enough to probably point it out but all this this nice cherry wood finish it's just amazing um, it's just fun to just sit in and just look around I mean they got some nice cabinetry back there that gets hidden by the couch a little cabin space there uh, this boat is known for its aft bedroom so hopefully this film will do it justice because you know when you walk in you got full cabinets on both sides cherry just gorgeous like escape hatch uh, basically a big window big big bed I would say it's king maybe full queen I don't know it's big it's nice um, nice nice bathroom private bathroom it, it functions the same way shower tons of cabinetry space and I laughed at this when I bought the boat it has a tub not a big tub user so we use it for storage but you could I'm sure it would work out just fine but I mean it's a shower too so that's where you would shower um, Fresh water tanks under here, wastewater tanks under here. Um, nice big closet back here. This is where power inverters are, or your battery switches. Um, just good, good mechanics on all the all the hardware. You know, it's got a little flip stopper. Um, they have independent volume control. I don't know if that was from factory or not. Uh, let's see. So you get a sense of the woodwork and the ceiling. It's just got this nice white soft ceiling to it. The engines are down there. I'm not going to take that apart during this video. Um, the dash, uh, check and fuel. You use this left, right button. So, um, and then blowers, of course, here. Um, uh, pumps if you wanted to run them while you're going down the water a lot of people think when you're getting on plane they say to run them uh, it'll drain that last little bit of water that the pumps aren't able to capture they'll get back to them um, so I think that's my run around on the interior